Hi Stampers! Today we're going to make this cute gift card for all those coffee lovers. It says thanks a latte on it and this flips up and this flips down and we have a place for our gift card to just slide right in there. Let's get started. I'll have all of the dimensions on my blog. So we have a piece of early espresso uh, four and a quarter by ten and a half, and it's scored at five and a half and eight and a quarter. So this piece, it, here's the five and a half mark, and here's the eight and a quarter. So we're just going to fold this in, and then fold this in again. And that gives us our little portion for the gift card. First thing we need to do is decorate this part, and we're using some of the coffee designer paper. It's called Coffee Break. And this is what I always do when I get a new pack of designer paper. I cut each piece out a one and three quarter inch square so I get all of the sides. And that just lets me see what I have in my paper. And um, this is this is how it is big. Just a little tip there. So I'm using the coffee bean paper. This is the back side of the one that I just showed you. And we're going to adhere that to this. And we'll then take the one and a quarter inch punch circle punch and stamp just a about a third of a circle in the center here. Like so that way they can grab the gift card. Then we'll take our tear and tape and find the end. There it is. It's just such a simple way to do this. We'll put a piece on one side and a piece on this side. Burnish it on. I don't have fingernails, so I usually grab from the center, and that helps to get it off. Instead of grabbing from the end, for me, this seems to work best. Flip this up. And that's how we have the gift card. Now we'll decorate it. As long as we have this part handy, we'll add some more designer paper on the front. This goes actually pretty quick. In this part here, we're going to add some soft sky so that it's not so stark. And we'll put that right there coming together. The next part is the part that flips up this this piece right here. So I have a piece of 8 by 3 scored at 4 and we just fold that in half. We have a piece of white, whisper white, that we will stamp on for the inside and we're using Coffee Cafe and it is a bundle and here are the framelits and we'll be using this ribbed framelit, the coffee cup, the circle, the oval, and the top and the coffee beans. But right now we're using just the cup, the lid, and the coffee beans. So we're going to stamp this in early espresso, kind of a light touch so that it doesn't go in between in here, kind of toward the bottom so that we have room for the lid. Nice crisp stamp. Next is the lid itself and that just goes right over the line. So, and then we'll add our coffee beans. 
and just set those down on the corner here. That's all it takes. So that goes on the inside of our little flap. And there's just enough room to write your sentiment right in the cup. Now we'll decorate the front, and this is a piece of soft sky that goes right on top. You can emboss it or not. I did one of them embossed with the wavy folder, and I don't know if you can see this or not, just for a little interest, but I don't think it's really that necessary. But if you like that extra layer, that's what you can do. Okay, so I'll put this on here. I've already cut the pieces out of the, with the thinlets. So we have our coffee mug, our, the little sleeve, the lid, thanks a latte, and our beans. And so we're going to put the cup right directly onto the card. Again, you want it low enough that you have room for the lid. Now the lid we're going to attach with pop dots, and I'm using the minis. They're just so cute. They're Stampin' Dimensionals, the proper name. I'm using three of them, so it lays nice and flat. And then that goes right over the top. Our here, I don't know if you can see the ridges. Here's the ridges that that die gives you right away, so there's no extra embossing. And we'll put that on there flat. Our beans, just take one, one little pop dot. They are very, very sticky. And put that on the right or the left, whichever you prefer. But when we put our little heart on to close it, you'll want to go the opposite side, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. You could use one big pop dot or two of the small ones. And you will find these things all over your house. <laughs> okay, let's put that right there. Now we'll attach it to the card. And this just gets centered onto the soft sky piece right here. I'm going to use the fast views for that. Make sure that it stays on. Just center it. And then this lifts up. This goes down and this goes down. And then the final piece is putting on the heart. And here's where I said it goes on the opposite direction or the opposite side of the beans so that it's not all clumped up down here. And to attach the little heart, this is from the um, Corrugated Essentials. And you just put it at the bottom of the heart. And there it is. Go make one. Have a great day.